This morning, less K-State students are heading to class than last year in years past. This is due to recent declines in enrollment. But university officials say they are now rolling out some new efforts to keep students at K-State. Right now, KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in Manhattan to explain how the new provost hopes to address students who may be looking to leave the university. Brittany, each major has make or break classes. These are credits that you need in, in order to move forward in that program. And university officials think that this may be the key to student retention at K-State. Officially, new, new provost Charles Tabor didn't start at K-State until last week, but he says he's been working with different groups over the summer that are looking at the enrollment issues. The school is looking at a three-prong approach, and one of the places they want to focus on is identifying students that are close to dropping out. Reaching out to students that are struggling in their gateway classes and giving them remedial help, um, you know, helping them to, to move along and get past those gateways so that they can then move on uh, into the major. Tabor says they are also looking at how the school deals with financial aid, focusing more resources on students in need. He says they are also using data to help in their enrollment efforts. Now, the university itself has a just a cornucopia of information at their disposal, uh, one of which in particular is where their current and past students came from. So they can look at, you know, obviously in that case, enrollment worked. So those are places that they should focus on and maybe get the uh, most bang for their buck when it comes to enrollment. Hopefully uh, get those enrollment numbers up and eventually get the uh, enrollment back to where it used to be. Live in Manhattan, James Ryan, KSNT News. All right, thank you, James, for those details. And Tabor goes on to say, with these changes, they hope to grow the freshman class by 2% each year.